Hi, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a texture pack for Minecraft Java Edition. If you want more tutorials like this, then like the video, subscribe, maybe comment that you want more, uh, join my Discord server, and yeah, let's get into the video. So the first thing you want to do is press Windows R. That'll uh, show a video like this, and then type in percent app data percent. I already have it in. Then click OK. That'll go to here. Then uh, to this folder. It's fine if you don't have the rest of these. But open the dot Minecraft folder. Then uh, go to uh, what is it? Oh yeah, versions. Go to versions, and then uh, go to this um, version in which you want to make the texture pack on. I'm going to make it for 1.18.1. .1. So select the jar file, and then uh, press Control C. Control C copies the file, and uh, don't like, uh, yeah, don't delete the file because otherwise I don't think Minecraft can run. Anyways, press Windows E again, that'll uh, open File Explorer again, and then go to the folder where you want to make your texture pack. For me, I already have it open, so that's in here. Then press Control V to paste the file. Then uh, copy it just so you have a backup if anything goes wrong or if like you modify your uh, zip file or the folder in which you extract it in. If you modify that somehow, then you'll still have a backup. So right click this, rename, uh, and then rename the file extension to .zip. Some people don't see that because at the top there's uh, something called view and show file name extensions. I already have this on. I think it's disabled by default on Windows 10. There's like a bar here and uh, file name extensions is one of these checkboxes, I think. Anyways, just rename this and then rename the file extension to .zip. So now it should say 1.18.1.zip or whatever file version, I mean, whatever Minecraft version you're doing this on .zip. Click enter. This warning will pop up. Click yes. And now select this, right click, extract all, and then a window like this should come up, click extract. I, I'm going to speed this part up since this will take about, I don't know, a couple years. So yeah, something like this should show up. Five, four, three, two, one, negative one, what? Negative one. I, I can't count. Okay. Anyways, this is what it sh this is what it should show uh, in this folder. I'm going to move this to the right side of your screen. You can close this window. I'm going to move this to the left side of the screen. Now you can click com scroll the com folder scroll all the way down here shift click on zz dot class then right click and it should show delete we just extracted all of these files and now we're deleting them so yeah this will also take like i don't know a few seconds it won't take as long as the other one though yeah look it's already 29 percent complete And here it's also done. My computer is actually kind of fast, so on a slower computer it would take a lot longer. Here, um, I would recommend creating a new folder uh, just to keep things organized. And I would name this the uh, name of the texture pack, or resource pack I guess. So, uh, <laughs> SDF tutorial. That's what I'm going to name it. And then open this, um, create a new folder here called assets because all of the textures are in assets. They're the only thing you should have on the left side. Open the assets folder on the left side. Open the same thing on the right side. Here it should show Minecraft, Realms, and whatever this is. Um, I'm going to be making a uh, I'm going to be changing the diamond sword texture and swapping the dirt and sand textures. So, um, create it, and there, all three of those textures are in the Minecraft folder, not realms. So here, I'm going to create a new folder called Minecraft. 
And then here I'm going to open this Minecraft folder, open this Minecraft folder. All of those, um, yeah, all of those textures are in textures. So here I'm going to create a new folder called textures. And then open the textures folder, open the textures folder. Uh, I'm going to change the diamond sword first. So uh, diamond, a diamond sword is an item. So here, open the items folder here and create a new items folder here and open it. So item, it needs to mean it needs to be named exactly the same thing or else it won't work. Like if anything is capitalized in the folder name, then it won't work. Okay, so the diamond sword is here. Control C, Control V. Um, yeah, I'm going to show you how to use GIMP, because that's what I... Okay, so to download GIMP, first you have to go to GIMP.org, and then here, this is what it should show. Download the latest version, and then set it up and all. Here, click on, uh, select diamond underscore sword dot png. Also, installing GIMP is just recommended, it's not required or anything. I forgot to say that, but yeah, okay. It's just recommended. Um, you can use like MS Paint or whatever um, editing software you want. I'm going to use GIMP because, yeah. Um, give me a second for it to open. Okay, so once it opens, it should look like this. Now zoom into the texture. Uh, make sure it has a transparent background because Let's say you paint something here, then that, like, that'll also be in the texture of the sword. So, like, if it has a white background, like, if you use Microsoft Paint, it'll have a white background. That'll also be in the texture of the sword. So, first, go to uh, Image, Mode, here it says indexed if it's already on RGB, that's good, then change it to RGB, because now you can set it to any color you want. So if you want to change the color of the sword, go to colors, then hue saturation, then select only cyan because a diamond sword is cyan, and then hue change this to what? Hue change this to whatever you want. Uh, pink di or red diamond sword, whatever you want. I don't really care. Yeah, blue diamond sword. This is nice. Yeah, I'm going to make it a dark blue diamond sword. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to make it darker, so like decrease the lightness, saturation. Yeah, well, no, saturation, I'm going to increase it so that it's like bright blue and click OK once you're done. If you want to make the sword shorter, a lot of people like the sword to be short, I don't. Um, I actually don't like it that much if my sword is short. I don't care, actually. So click N. What? Okay. One second. Click N uh, for the pencil tool. And control click here to select the color. So now you can paint this, this color, and this one, this color. Uh, then um, press shift E. For the eraser, you can erase this one if you want to do it again, or, or as many times as you want. I don't really care. Uh, click N for pencil here. Um, you know what? This is for people who like short swords. Yeah. You can use, like, these things left bracket and right bracket to change your brush size so the best sword texture is no sword texture people who like your swords to be short this is what you want you all know it so now you click overwrite uh close this discard changes and now if you open this you get no sword texture so uh go back here go back here um the next thing I'm going to do is be switching the um, dirt and sand textures. So here is the block folder, and you that here click new folder, block. So yeah, and then open this, open this. I since I'm going to be switching two textures, and I can't rename um, either of the textures to the same thing. 
I mean, to the name of the other texture, because, like, there are two files in the same name, with the same name that are in the same folder, uh, that's just not possible, unless they're the same file, and they're not, so, uh, I'll have to name, like, dirt.pn, huh, okay, here, control C, control V again. I'll have to name dirt.png to something again, like, I mean, to something different, like sand.png instead of sand.png. And then when I, where is sand.png? Sand here, okay. So now here, I'll have to rename this to dirt.png. And then this one to sand.png. Because you can't have two files with the same name in the same folder. So now when I open the dirt.png file, it'll, it's sand and the sand.png is dirt. Okay, so now uh, you click back here and back here to return to this folder. And then go back here. And then back again. Um... Let's say you want to change like the splash text or something, then then go to um here texts then splashes.txt it this contains all the splash text. So maybe change this if you want. Uh end dot p uh, end dot txt this is what it shows. Credits dot json. Um this is the like credits for the game i think yeah and then yeah post credits or whatever and then yeah like if you want to change the particles here they are um models like how the how the block things and item things are i i, I don't understand half the things i say okay anyways go back here go back here here, uh, set a random file to be packed at PNG. So, um, yeah, I'm going to set this to be, uh, packed at PNG. Control C here, Control V here, and then, uh, rename this to packed at PNG. If you don't do this, then it'll just have the default co cobblestone texture, which is fine. This is the icon of your texture pack, by the way. So, yeah okay so after um creating the pack.png file for your um texture pack icon then right click here click uh a hover over new i mean and then click text document you don't need the other windows of file explorer so i closed them by the way anyways click off of this so it just saves as new text document.txt open it and then paste the text that i put in the description in the description uh yeah and then this pack format number you can change it to uh, the version that you're playing uh, that this texture pack is meant for like if this texture pack is meant for versions 1.6 to 1.9 or something the pack format number would be one the exact details are in the description and then you can change the uh, description of this to whatever you want um anyways hit Control s when you're done click uh i mean close the window now select this right click rename uh what select this right click rename and rename this to pack dot mc meta and then this warning will pop up again click yes um oh yeah by the way you should have had you should have had file name extensions on uh, already from earlier in this tutorial if you didn't then you should have turned it on anyways when you're done uh hover over all of these uh right click on one of them click compress to zip file now you name this uh zip file whatever you want your texture pack to be named so for me sdf uh tutorial pack yeah and then i'm going to show you how to import um texture packs into Minecraft Java now.
Okay, so just a heads up, my frames are probably going to be pretty low from now on in OBS. So anyways, go to whatever world you want. Uh, so like single player, I'll go to uh, this world. Okay, so once you join... Okay, so once you join the world, go to the escape menu by hitting escape. Then go to options, and then resource packs, and then open pack folder. Then uh, a window of file explorer should open. Um, go to wait. Go to uh the window of file explorer where you were earlier. Then select uh the um, select the uh, texture pack. Hit Control C and then select this one. Control V. It should paste in there. Now, uh, give me a second. Where? Oh yeah. It's this one now enable this so uh yeah enable this so now this texture pack will be like selected hit done and then all the texture packs should reload i mean the game should reload all of your texture packs so if you have like one texture pack on top of another then the um texture pack that's higher is going to be overwritten so now if I break the grass, then look, there's sand here, and it gives us, uh, and it shows sand particles when I'm breaking the grass. That's because when I normally break the grass, um, it would show dirt particles, and since dirt is retextured, it's sand. So now when I uh, search for sand, sand is dirt, dirt is sand. And this is the diamond sword. Yeah. So when I place this dirt down, it makes dirt noises. Um, sand falls. That's what happens when I place the sand. Then why is there grass here? I actually don't know why there's grass here. Anyways, yeah. That's everything, so that sand just fell into the void. That's how, like, cursed texture packs are made by, like, swapping a bunch of the textures and boxes.